I was born in Mumbai, India, and I came here as Mr. Nobody looking for an internship and climbed my way up and became the chairman of the Medical Licensing Board of the state. I have accompanied some congressmen and senators on visit to India. As a student, I used to read about Israel and Jewish people, but the encounters were limited to reading about it. We used to talk about the bravery of the people of Israel and the admiration for the sacrifices and determination that they have to have their own land, defend their own land, defend their own faith. We used to say that India lives in bad neighborhood with Pakistan and China. Same way we felt that Israel was surrounded by hostile neighbors who always wanted to destroy them. So there was also natural bonding and sympathy for the struggle. We must do what we can to try to support these people. I have made about six trips to Israel. Some of my Jewish friends here were telling me that, hey, Brad Bhai, why don't you help organize a Medicine Square Garden type reception for Prime Minister Modi when he visit Israel? And I said, I'll be happy to volunteer. And we help them, guide them, and both Prime Minister Netanyahu and Prime Minister Modi addressed the gathering. We led 50 to 60 people in support of Israel in front of the Israeli consulate in Chicago. And when there were dirty resolutions coming against the Hindu community and India, we had requested your help. This collaborative relationship between Hindu communities, Jewish communities, and Stand With Us has been mutually beneficial to our communities. Stand With Us has been standing up for the rights of Jewish people, and obviously they deserve the support. And I've frequently quoted Mrs. Golda Mayer when somebody had asked, Mrs. Mayer, when will peace come to Middle East? She said, when the Arabs love their children more than they hate the Jewish children. Yes, you can have your own Jewish school or Hindu school, you can have your own temples, you can have your cultural festivals, you can have your religious festivals, provided you are free. Dear friend, you were instrumental in bringing India and Israel closer together. You paved the road for closer ties between the Hindu and Jewish American communities. When Israel or the Jewish people are in need, you call and you're there before you're even asked. You helped organize a rally in Calcutta, India for Israel standing with Israel for over 70,000 people. And you are a leader. When you speak, people listen. People follow. I am indebted to you for my cherished friendships with the Hindu American community across the country and in India. And here is a small token of our gratitude and respect. It reads, Dr. Bharat H. Barai, a leader whose vision and courage inspires unity and friendship between the Hindu and Jewish people, October 29th, 2023.
thank you for inviting me to accept this honor, which really belongs to millions of Hindus all over the world. They admire and sympathize with you. As one of the oldest civilizations, Jews have been living in Israel, including Judea and Samaria, from the river to the sea for more than 3,000 years. <laughs> there is only one tiny Jewish homeland of 8,550 square miles, Israel. I have visited Israel six times. <clears throat> you have built a highly advanced country within last 75 years. The Jews constitute only 0.2% of world population, but you have captured 22% of Nobel Prizes, 215 or so. <laughs> Jews came to India almost 2,000 years ago after the destruction of Second Temple as boat people. They have lived in India without any fear, without any persecution. In fact, the Hindu Maharaja of Cochin gave them the land to build the synagogue right next to his palace and assured them that my guards will protect your synagogue. And I'm proud to say that this synagogue, called Pardesi Synagogue, has never been attacked, vandalized, or ransacked. <laughs> In World War II, over 1,000 orphans from Poland who were externed in Siberia, half of them Jewish, they were being expelled by the Russians. They were put on the ship, and nobody wanted to accept them. The ship moved around, went to many ports in Europe and Asia, and nobody would allow this ship to dock. The Maharaja of Jamnagar, my state of Gujarat, <laughs> accepted them. He called these orphans, stood in front of them and said, children, I know you have lost your parents, but I am your father. He shuttled them for a number of years, educated them till they all found their careers, and they are settled all over the world. It was in a little movie called Little Poland in India. Coming to the current situation on October 7th, brutal Hamas barbarians attacked, murdered, raped, and abducted almost 1,400 Israelis, including women, children, elderly. Hindus all over the world, along with most of the civilized world, have condemned these brutal barbarian atrocities, affirming their solidarity with the Jewish people and supporting the right of Israel to defend itself and demolish the demon of Hamas. We stand with you, our Jewish brothers and sisters. We stand with you. Yes, we do see demonstrations in some of the cities by individuals who are misinformed or uninformed or hardcore religiously indoctrinated individuals blaming Israel. <clears throat> but these are fabricated narratives, playing the victim card, 
after committing barbaric atrocities. We hope that after Hamas is demolished and hostages are relieved unharmed, more Middle East nations will join Abraham Accord to peace and prosperity for all. <laughs> Nobody likes the innocent civilians affected in the war, but the blame is sorely on Hamas that operates the terrorist cells from the hospitals, the schools, residential areas, and still keeps on firing rocket at Israeli civilians. It's left to Israel to demolish Hamas with all your intelligence, smartness, and all the weapons at its disposal. Never again, never again, never again. <laughs>